Hi, this is Ali Shamo, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to program your DJI NASA MGPS system or flight controller for any kind of multi rotor. Basically, I was thinking to actually make this video and call it how to program your NASA MGPS for OFM Seeker 450, but then I thought that I would just keep it universal and tell you how to program NASA MGPS and how to program your radio universally for any kind of multi-rotor. Of course, we will be taking an example of Seeker 450 from OnlyFlyingMachines.com. So get your things ready. This is my computer. I'll put it on my mom's picture. And this is the radio. I'll put it on Mariam's picture and the quadcopter will stay on Ali Shamma's picture. All right, let's start with the radio system programming. Okay, I'm taking Futaba THJ as an example, and it's a really, really easy system. This machine, this radio that you're seeing here, is prepared for one of my customer, Abdullah, and after this, this machine is going to him directly. All right, so Futaba THJ or any Futaba or any kind of radio system will basically follow the same procedure. So first thing that you need to do is select a model on your radio, okay, and set it to aerobatics. All right, that's what I would do. After setting the aerobatic model, make sure you reset the model. Okay, so go ahead and execute reset. After you have reset the model, the next thing that you need to do is go to auxiliary channels so that you can select the channels for your flight modes. Normally what I do is I select switch E for flight modes, VR knob to either control the camera gimbal tilt or uh, use it to remotely set the gains on NASA and switch C which is again a three position switch for intelligent orientation controls. In my own case, like my own quadcopters, I never use intelligent orientation control. So I will actually set the channel seven to DT6. So DT6 will move here and then I can use the DT6 trim to remotely set the gains and keep my VR free to actually control the gimbal. Okay, so basically choice is yours if you wanna follow this. Go ahead, channel 5, switch E, flight modes, channel 6, VR for remote gains or camera gimbal control, and channel 7, switch C for intelligent orientation control, or again, remote gain. So remember, channel 6 and channel 7 will connect to X1 and X2, uh, which is, that's how the NASA calls it, X1 and X2. The next thing we need to do is set the endpoints, but before we actually set the endpoints, I would like to set the fail safe. That means if your quadcopter goes out of range, out of control range, your NASA will kick in or activate the RTH right there. So that's what I need to do is first I need to go to endpoints, go down to gear, make sure your switch E is actually all the way up, that means on manual mode, and set this value to 61. Okay, now put it all the way down and set this value to 36. You might want to experiment with your own radio systems, but for Futaba, this thing works. Set it to 36, and then go to fail safe. Here, set your throttle to 55%, and press this button, so your throttle is 55%. Go down, and when you are on fail safe, it will say normal, activate it, and press this button again, and it will set it to 33%. Once this is done, you need to go back, okay, and go to endpoints, go to gear, and set this 36 to 61 again. Why? You will see it later when we run the DJI Assist software that uh, why I am doing this kind of shortcut. Now, 61, 61 on gear, rest is all 100, 100. Uh, my aileron should be 100 as well, 100, 100, rest is all 100, 100, and only gear is 61, 61, and you have seen how to set fail safe. Now that our fail safe is set and endpoints are set, the next thing that you need to set on this radio is the uh, RTH on demand, how to call the quadcopter back anytime you want. Now let me show you how to set up the RTH or a return to home feature anytime on demand that you want it. Uh, now that your endpoints are set, your failsafe is set, so your quadcopter will come back anytime it goes out of range 
But what if you want it to come back whenever you want it to come back, all right? So that is very, very easy. Go to Program Mix and uh, choose the mix number one, okay? Now here, what you will do is Master and Slave Channels, you will select them gear, both gear, okay? Because gear is your channel five, which is working on flight modes and setting up the DJI NASA and telling DJI NASA to go to manual, attitude hold mode, fail safe, or GPS position hold mode. So using the gear switch, we can make a mix to let the slider or let uh, tell the NASA to go to fail safe mode. To do so, it's very, very simple. First, select a switch of your own choice, okay? And select where you want it to activate RTH. In this case, of course, down. So I select switch B, and when I flip the switch B down, the uh, RTH will activate. Now to set the values, you go up here and see, when I move the flight switch down, you can see the value is changing from plus 100 to minus 100 and the slider is coming up and down from low and high. So what I will do is when the switch E is on GPS position hold mode, I will simply put the value here to minus 50. Now when I'm flying mostly in uh, GPS position hold mode for FPV to keep things safe and nice, Anytime on this mode here, when I switch flip, uh, when I flip switch B down, you can see the mix is on, and my quadcopter will start coming back to me. It starts flying back to me. That means the NASA RTH will get activated. However, if you are on manual mode, moving the switch B up and down will have no effect. Why? Because there is no value. If you want. Uh, to activate the RTH in manual mode or GPS position hold mode both, you can put the minus 50 value on both sliders, okay? But for now, I just keep it on GPS position hold mode so I can put the quad copper on GPS position hold mode. It will get very, very stable. And then I will flip the switch B down and activate the RTH and my quad copter will come back. Now, there was one more question people asking that uh, if the quadcopter is on RTH mode, how do you cancel the RTH? Well, it's very, very simple. If you're on GPS position hold mode and you have activated the RTH, all you need to do, make sure your throttle is on 50%, make sure 50 or more, flip the switch B up and put the flight switch to middle or manual mode and now start controlling because you have just deactivated the RTH. Similarly, if your quadcopter has gone out of range and it's coming back by itself, never ever put the throttle to zero. Make sure to keep the throttle in the middle all the time, even if you do, do not want to deactivate the RTH. But if you want to deactivate the RTH, of course, always flip to attitude or manual mode with switch E and you will deactivate the RTH mode. So this was your radio programming for DJI NASA and GPS. Now that you have seen those values I put in and you were asking why do you have to put those, those exact values, let's see why. Let me connect the DJI NASA on the Seeker 450 to my computer and run the DJI Assist software and show you why I put those values.